Cheap Seats! Listen to this rocking song. It's 27 seconds long. This is our new Cheap Seats theme. In season four, we have a dream. To teach the children how to laugh with the help of our great staff. Going farther than Ron Parker. Comedy was never darker. This ain't no time to be a slouch. Join the boys here on the couch. They'll take you on a nasty ride. Keep in the vault of U.S. pride. Cheap Seats! Doing it! USA! America! Hey everybody, welcome to Cheap Seats, where today we've got a real treat for you. It's called the Radical Outdoor Challenge, and it's hosted by a newly post-pubescent Ryan Seacrest. Now, if you're like us, you look at Ryan Seacrest and think to yourself, this guy just oozes sports. There's no one more sportsy than Ryan. He makes Mike Ditka seem like Mike Brady. He makes Charles Barkley seem like Charles Nelson Riley. He makes Greg Gumbel seem like... Bryant Gumble, which makes Ryan the perfect host for the Radical Outdoor Challenge, a program that forces teenagers to participate against their will in lame obstacle courses. It's basically boot camp for kids who haven't done anything wrong. But after they've endured Seacrest and the manufactured wackiness of co-host Jerry Bernardo... Radical rock zipline. He's up high, not scared of heights himself. Come on! Chances are most of them will eventually act out their repressed anger and humiliation and wind up in prison. Let's check it out. I hate him already. Radical! This looks like a cross between the X Games and Saved by the Bell, with none of the good parts from either. Lowercase r. Capital A. Radical! Oh. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, is that Seacrest in? Hey to vote for the zip line to snap, call 1-866-BIG-DORK. No. Why enter the show in a normal way? Nothing they do is normal, Jay. Or good, oh, Rand. Good to see you guys. I take right. that back. Seacrest out I, of his element. Here I come down. And the young boys. Beautiful. It's Radical Outdoor Challenge. I'm Ryan Seacrest. And I'm disappointed. Oh, yeah. oh, Capital Y for yawn. Safely, sir. safely. All right. Welcome to Thomaston, Georgia. Camp Where no one's ever said that before. So that's where the third Dharma hatch is. Let's talk about this comfortable outerwear that I have on <laughs> for one moment, please. How do you feel? Mm, okay. Package for Mr. Seacrest. Bernardo! Thank you, boys and girls. Yes. Hello. Hey, it's a guy you've never heard of. America. A guy you'll learn to hate. Tell them about Radical Outdoor Challenges. I peel these nice, uh, fashionable gloves off here. Can I borrow this? Yes, take it away. All right. Just like that, a legend was born. Psycho action. Good call on taking the mic. Right. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> what? Radical plagiarism. Let's meet our contestants, shall we? We're here shall we? That's Pat not very Albert. radical. <laughs> Getting pumped. He's got the Marine haircut going off. Marine cut? It's barely even a Coast Guard quaff. Morgan? Mitch Kramer. Get him a coffee. He's going to have some fun. And Like kids drink coffee. Travis Orndorff. You've seen him everywhere. Look at him. We have? He's the son of Mr. Wonderful. Here's the deal. We'll give you one minute. Now, if from you From the get neck up, minute, Seacrest looks like a red crayon. From the neck down, Katie Lang. Under, we give you 10 <clears> for every <throat> second under. Amazing. Who calculates this stuff? <laughs> Guys! Guys, boys, friends, fellas! These are a few of my favorite things. Travis, are you ready? No. Please let the mic cord dip in the water. Awkward leg kick in three, two, perfect. All right, here they go. Now, I'd love to see their faces just splat on the wood. Yep, just kidding. No, you're not, Ryan. Those the black donuts. It's a tight race through the sandbox up the hill. All the heavy metal guitar in the world couldn't make this cool. The little push and kick. Heading for the rainforest. I didn't know Bernardo did character work. One, Neither two, three, did he. Even keel. Are we going to see a pass here? Terry Hatcher's words exactly, right, oh, Seacrest? running. Is this legal? Can we get a ruling on the running? Aren't rules the antithesis of radical? What is this? What is What's this? with the running? It's called being radical, dude. Your bicycles and they're running. I don't, I don't know if that... Can we get a ruling on that? I don't know. No, you can't, because this is not a sport. It's still moving, so I would imagine it's legal. I think that's a bit of a discrepancy. Uh... I think that's the wrong use of the word discrepancy. So you have a discrepancy with his use of the word discrepancy. Yes. They go around the, the corner there on the gravel. Double dare is more radical. Baby Einstein is more radical. I want to see air time over here. All right, that's the horn. Now, Jer, every second over, how many? Ten. How many? Ten? I don't know. You Ten. tell me. You're the boss. <laughs> I haven't seen this much buck passing since Abu Ghraib. Okay, here's the mud pile. The mud pit. The this is great. They'll clear it. Yes! Should have ran it. Face first. You love that? Later, sucker. Beautiful. 
A future Bush appointee in the making. Oh, Travis Morgan, Is it me or is the music losing steam? The biggest. Cheaters always win in radical land. Just ask Denise Richards. Whoa, dude. That kid totally cheated. And worse, he was rewarded for it. I know. It's just so troubling. I mean, where would kids learn that it's okay to cheat in sports as long as it helps you win? Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats, where we're watching the Radical Outdoor Challenge. And I gotta say, it's a little annoying, don't you think? I mean, the graphics, the non-sequitur cutaways, the craziness, I'm just not that into it, really. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's too bad, because I was actually contacted recently by a radical consultant who said that they could make Cheap Seats more radical. Did somebody say make Cheap Seats more radical? Is that the guy? No, I actually spoke to a woman, but he seems kind of radical. Let's see what he has to say. My name is Manny Triller, and if you want your show to be radical, you gotta make it radical. It's not just gonna radicalize itself. You gotta use wacky graphics. You gotta write things in crazy font. You gotta just yell stuff. On skinny bop, bop, bop. Really? Yeah, I can totally make this show radical. We'll get started right after commercial. That's a uh, radical talk for commercial. We just actually got back from commercial, so. I know that, man. I'm just trying to keep the audience guessing. Mix things up a little bit. That's SRP. SRP? Standard radical procedure. Whew. The boy's got a lot to learn. All right, let's just get back to the radicalness. All right, let's go. He's this nervous. is a rock climb. Ready, set, hit it! I'll assume that means go. Five second clock is ticking. Jerry, don't you love this? Low angle shot web? creeping anyone else out? I like it how the kid's elbow pad flew off right away. <laughs> Why? Do you want to see him get hurt? Chaining wall with the log stapled forth. And we have our safety guy. Get your best deep voice on. I don't get it. Do safety guys typically have deep voices? They do in Jerry's head. That's got to be a few feet. A few feet. You can add good. <laughs> Looks Dick like Clark would have known the exact footage. All right. Getting across there, pet. Oh, and the protective gear is flying as we speak. Like Makes sense. It was supplied by Rumsfeld. I know, he's almost asleep, but he's going... Superdog Super Jocks has more sports cred than this. Because they're sliding across those ropes. That's I tough know. stuff. Look at the determination. Where on his back? Now, Jerry, All right. we're over 45 seconds. That's it, 45 seconds given up. Great All sprint right. by Morgan. Or not. Uh, here he comes down the ladder. It looks like Come on, they're losing points as we speak. Yes, Jerry, everything is happening as you speak. That's how announcing works. Humans shouldn't be allowed to have this much fun. It's Humans? Why wouldn't he say people? Even Dick Vitale would say, tone it down, Bernardo. Wait, talk to me first. I'm Ryan Seacrest, damn it. You started to uh, lose some of your pattage. Not a word. It's crawled across the cargo net. Is it high? Is it scary? Is it lovely? Is it beautiful? Is it clean? Is it wet? What's it like? Is it wet? Someone needs okay. to dial Seacrest down to bearable. Okay, I'm here live with Pat. He's fresh out of the Marines at 15 Is years old. Bernardo he like four foot the one? The only thing with shorter me. legs than Bernardo is this show. There, it was just, it just wasn't there. Like the rope fell down, I guess, and I had to wait for the guy to, to send it back up. Was that a blast anyhow? Yeah, it was fun. Blast, it was great. current, no, and I radical. We like to hear. 15 years old and he's loving This man should not be allowed around children. Tell you about this it's rock on water we fire them off we send them down they paddle in they got a minute to do so they're penalized just like every other event what's the penalty the a bench. bernardo interview bada bing as you would say bada boom That's hey sill want to whack both those. these guys right, let's start let's them off go. go ahead start them off chair all right let's get the boys going on the count of three I'm is that guy holding a beer One, considering two, this show three, wouldn't you rock. all right here they go Tonight on when the music doesn't We've match the action. Morgan, Pat, Travis. That's it, Morgan. Wow, Pat they're really tearing it up. Here. How are the cameramen keeping them in focus? They're not. Get the long hair, huh? Get the long hair. All right. Now, this is tough, man. When they usually get out there, they start spinning around. I know, I know. It doesn't look like it's going to be that much fun. What's not fun about paddling slowly in disease-infested waters? Challenge them at Radical Outdoor Challenge, don't they? There's a cameraman standing in that water with a terribly distended stomach. 
Oh, uh, yes. Well, you've got some sun today, though. I see on oh, your Oh, man, I'm dying. All right, that's the Now they're discussing Bernardo's sunburn? This is radical action. Ten points for every second over a minute. That's for sure. Kids look like they're having fun. Get it down by the end of the first season. Oh, am I coming back? <laughs> <laughs> no. Here's Travis. Can I say hello to Sharon? Sure you can. Sharon. I think this is where they filmed a civil action. And Aaron Bronkowitz. I think it's Aaron Bronkowitz. Who cares? Travis. What did these kids do to deserve this? I don't know, but the next challenge is going to a prison and getting scared straight. Morgan and Pat. Morgan. There's Morgan in. And Pat. Seacrest looking like a radical longshoreman. Talk to me. First of all, let's just show the world. Take your finger like this. And stick it in my... Hold on a minute. Get Bronkelstein on the phone. Mm, that's nice stuff. All right, man. Now smear that on Jerry's stupid sideways hat. Water. Did you love it? I loved it. Do you love me? It feels good. After a hot, long day. All right, Travis. Thanks a lot, man. We have the winner. Look at their faces. Getting treated for head lice would be more fun. Booming points. Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. Morgan, psyched to be under the microscope. Up a little, Great buddy. Job, Morgan. Help yeah, Morgan. It could be worse. Jerry could be your stepdad. Coming in. The man, the legend. The cheater. Pat. He's coming in at 8, 3, 4. Oh, Pat's got Pat, second. Pat, Pat, Pat. Why can't they show us the person who's handing out the trophies? Because it's more radical if we think the trophy's walking over to him on its own. Travis, 8,490 points. The winner is Travis. Great job, buddy. Now that's radical. No, that's a restraining order about to happen. Your name and lights. His name and lights? Because of the Amber Alert. Oh, right. Come back. On. Loving you. Hating you. Well, that's Bernardo for you. Always understanding that the show is not about him. Whoa, whoa, Chief, what are you doing? Uh, I'm commenting about the footage we just saw. Yeah, and you sound like you're about 80. Oh, well, that's Bernardo for you, and uh, I am not in touch with the kids. Man, if you want this show to be radical, you gotta start sounding more like Manny Trillo, as in Chillo Manilo. I don't like this guy, and he's totally disrupting the show, Rand. Yeah, well, maybe that's your problem, Jay. You know, maybe disruption is a good thing. If we want this show to be more radical, maybe we gotta shake things up a little. I don't know, Rand. It feels like we're doing a kid show. Come on, brother. Stop being so radical. And start being radical. We'll be back with more cheap seats after this. Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats. We're in the middle of the Radical Outdoor Challenge, a.k.a. the show where Ryan Seacrest lost his TV virginity. I did not know that. Well, there's a lot of stuff about the crest that you don't know. Perhaps. But is there a lot of stuff about the crest that I don't care about? Just the facts. Do you care? Do you care that Ryan Seacrest began his broadcasting career at age 16 as an evening radio host for WSTR-FM? Do you care that Ryan was only a freshman in college when he was offered the job to host the Radical Outdoor Challenge? Do you care that Ryan was overweight as a kid and was taunted by schoolmates who called him Kubiak after the chunky character on the show Parker Lewis Can't Lose? Salad juice! Who the hell is that? That non sequitur Nancy. She just says whatever comes into her head. It raises the radical quotient by 18,000%. Okay, that's not even a non sequitur. Oh, man, let me ask you something. Were you just talking about her making noises? Uh, no. <laughs> well, then! Bringing you back, it's Radical Outdoor Show. Seacrest highlights. What does a time-lapse video of a college football stadium filling up have to do with the day in the lives of us? Aside from everything, it's a radical choice, dude. You Deal guys, with it. It's great to have you out here today, the live studio audience. What? Who died? Continuity. Radical Outdoor Challenge is a lot of fun. It's a lot of skill. Then why are you making the sign for it's a lot of money? We got rock line. We've got the bonus round. Not so the bonus round. A little bit. In case viewers at home still aren't aware, this show is crazy and zany. Sit is here too. Sharon, are you sweating? Only on the inside, Ryan. Only on the inside. 
about ready to rock you, aren't we? Is that rhetorical? Is that? I'm not sure if stock footage from Al Qaeda training camps is appropriate. Now, it is radical, though. Let's meet our wonderful contestants. Who's today? directing this? Jose Feliciano. Anyway, let's say hello to Scott. Scott looks like he's being punished. He is. God, give him a little more energy than that, man. Now, in the middle is Derek. Derek and I are good buddies. Cut it out, Derek. You're not on Arsenio. And Ryan, who plays soccer, he's a striker. Ryan. It's a Shetland Seacrest. Okay, go on over. Great and crowd shot. Right Nothing but torsos. Radical. How to shoot this paint gun. Rock range. You know what I always wondered? Why Seacrest doesn't do more improvisational comedy on American Idol? Here we go, too. What to do? I don't know. I'm out of a shot. I'm over here. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You're going to play this game. Seacrest with a gun. Even Charlton Heston would be opposed to that. Left to right, more time, more shots, more points. It's what it means. <laughs> he I'm sold right, it. Let's start. So elusive and evasive. Are, are those too big of words to be using on this show? Get out of my face okay, before I pop a paintball on your Sherry Belafonte oh, looking. You ready for this now? Yeah. All right, ready, set, let's rock! And by rock, I mean shoot stuff with guns. Freeze it. Pan right, and you'll find the letter P. Okay, good job. He has 20 seconds to hit as many targets as possible. He gets 50 points per fire. target that is hit. Rock range is the name hey, Scotty, we'll get you a date with Sharon if you go all Cheney on Seacrest. Oh. Very good job, Ashley. Full time left. So you can keep going. Once in a while, he'll miss him, but he always comes back, usually with the second shot, and hits it. I have no idea if he hit anything. Neither does Sharon. That's not the most radical of ensembles. I don't know. Those shoulder pads are pretty radical in a Felicia Rashad sort of way. Ryan's having a tough time. Luckily, has the fans to cheer him on. Yeah, good idea. Put more pressure on the kid with the gun. Are there enough cameramen? I think there should be one more perched right on the barrel of Ryan's gun. Ryan had a tough time right there, but we need to find. Honestly, out. just shut up, Sharon. These guys are extremely. I just want to talk for a second about the radical outdoor challenges obsession with guns. Monkey saw. Okay, non sequitur Nancy, just hang on a second. All right, I have a serious point I want to make about kids and guns. Whiffle ball! La, 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 la. Yeah, those are all bizarre things to just yell, but I want to discuss how guns have no place. Donkey Kong! Okay, I'm on your side. We should just get rid of Manny Trillo. Great, I'm glad you finally came around. You want to do it right now? No, nah, let's just wait till after commercial. That one's staying, I'm sorry. That one's going to be in the Elcon. Elcon? Lexicon. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just, you know, toying around with options of my vocab. Hey, welcome back to Cheap Seats. We're about to check out the last segment of the Radical Outdoor Challenge. Killer wasps! Okay, stop, stop it, stop it. Not Secretary Nancy, stop it. You and Manny Trillo have to go. Hold on a second, Rand. I just got handed our ratings for the first three-fourths of the show, and apparently we have more teenage boys than ever in our demographic. Our ratings are up 18,000%. Sweet. Keep up the good work, non sequitur, Nancy. Stomach pump! OK, I know it's helping, but I want to shoot myself in the head. Rock climb. That's where I am. I'm here to tell you about it. We start you off from the starting line. Take Wait, you the they're starting from the starting and line? Up. That is so radical. And over the web. Then to the rock climb wall. Hit the rock climb wall. Buckle yourself in. Get to the top of the wall. You simply see Jerry hey. Bernardo. What? <laughs> I gleefully <laughs> thought he'd been fired. Listen, the star of Motor World 2. Listen, Are there truly any out. stars in Motor World 2? This is great. I'll it's about 11 claps more than he deserves. I want them to climb right over. If I was here, they could step on my face, my head, my torso. God, I hope so. Hop on that little Tarzan thing, a swing, a bing, a bang, a bomb drop. This guy makes the Olive Garden seem Italian. Hey, it's Wall Street Journal. What the f is he talking about? It's a on Scott's face. Here's the sound of the 45 second hole. He's getting us away from Bernardo. Because he didn't want to. Get scared. Are we picking up Sharon's voice on Bernardo's mic? No, she's got two omnidirectional mics in her shoulder pads. That's a tough thing. These kids are really tough kids. Oh, please break an ankle. It's a nice race. This kid is clearly afraid of heights. What kind of ridiculous stage mom pressured him into this? What is that sound? I think Bernardo's spawning. No, that was just Seacrest having a seizure. 
Great. Now the kid's having a seizure, too. Great job, Derek. I love you. You're beautiful. Great job. This got weird fast. You like it? Tell me all about it. It was wonderful. It was really wonderful. Sunsets are wonderful. Childbirth is wonderful. This was a ropes course. Perfect. Yes, it is. They can, Let's they talk can sit about back it. and relax. I'm just going to say it. Sharon is way overdressed for the final scene in Coming to America. On your mark, get set. Please don't. He did. One time he said go, and nobody knew what to do. They have one minute. I think the canoe is moving faster than them. Scott out there. Oh, yes. Seacrest calling a great race. I cannot wait until the run through the weeds part. That hasn't happened yet. It's going to be a fight. Yeah. Fight, 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 fight. Push his face in the disease water. Yeah. Now, this is what we paid to see. They're going to get it at the same time. I don't believe that. This kid's about to go Delman Young on Seacrest. Let's find out who the overall winners are on a rock challenge. And a rock challenge? Well, it makes sense. 20 minutes of this, and we're all looking for an exit strategy. Congratulations, Ryan. You get yourself a Trophy cam's still necessary and still radical. And a handshake. Congratulations. Did we mention this show also has no director? This is Derek with 8,600 points. Congratulations. Yeah. Derek, we're a little disappointed. As an avid watcher of Radical Outdoor Challenge, you should have known that the trophy cam was the one to look into. Yeah, Scott with 8,870 points. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, Scott, still mad about the boat race? They're going to get it at the same time. I don't believe that. All right, you'll be back with us. Well, we got to get out of here quick. Because the owner of the backyard we're using just woke up. On, okay, just do it. Well, there you have it, the Radical Outdoor Challenge. Now the only thing left to do is give out some cheapies. No. You know what would be even more radical? Not giving out cheapies. I like the way you think, Jason. And I like the way you think, Manny Trillo. Consider us on board with your radicalizing plan. We'll drink the Kool-Aid. We're going to hire you full time. I actually helped you guys out? Yeah, why are you so upset? You helped make the show right I'm so upset? I'll tell you why I'm so upset. Because I'm not Manny Trillo. Ron Parker? That's right. I was trying to ruin your show so that I could have it back. I was trying to make your show tank. Oh, yeah? Well, your little plan backfired. Yeah, instead of ruining our show, you turned into a ratings monster. All right, you know what? I will not be a contributing factor to your success. So if you guys will excuse me, I have some magazines to recycle. Good riddance. Yeah. You know what? We don't need to be radical to put on a good show. What's that? It's our ratings since Ron Parker left. They've gone down 18,000%. They just went back up, baby. Oh!